Thanks for tuning into the channel. Check this out. I can't believe I've got this place to myself. Abba Falls, Snowdonia. I don't think this camera's going to do it justice. The waterfall itself's over 100 foot high. Just come across this lovely location here, a bit further down from Ava Falls. You've got another waterfall, which is just as impressive. It's not as big, but might be able to make it out through the trees now. Yeah, you've got this other waterfall here. I'm not sure if I can get up there for the camp. Might have a little look. I'm not sure though. Might be fenced off. But there might be another location a bit further downstream where I can pitch up for the night. Stunning location though. Check out these views. I've actually got a sea view from here. Not sure you can make it out. And you can see Puffin Island. And just make out the Irish Sea there in the distance. The GoPro had the best camera for it, but with the naked eye, it's quite a nice sea view from here. Right then, I'll show you my pitch for the night. It's quite a steep walk up. Let's check this out for the pitch. On top of a waterfall. It's really windy now though, so I'm sorry about the wind noise. Not a bad pitch to spend the night.
a little fun spoon there. Yeah, cracking location this. Might take a dip in the morning. A quick and easy camping meal. I just used one of them bachelors pasta and sauces for a pack of chicken, some sweet corn and added some spice as well. Not a bad spot to enjoy it as well. Chin chin. It's 8 o'clock now, so the sun should be going down soon. Cracking views there, across the valley to the sea. It's getting quite windy now as well, the temperature's really dropped. I'll just chill out now, I'll enjoy a few, a few beers. Enjoy the last of these views before the sun goes down. Yeah, made up with this pitch though. I think this is a spot where I'll definitely come back in the future for another camp. Abba Falls is just around that hill there. Yeah, it was like a four mile walk from Clamperfecken train station to get here. That last bit was quite steep as well getting up here but well worth it for this pitch really enjoyed that tea as well then simple but really filling i think they're ideal then pasta and sauces to use as a base and just add your add your meat to it and a bit of veg and quite cheap as well set now just chilling here now having a couple of beers I'm just using a budget sleeping mat tonight the Gemulus sleeping mat and I'm using Robin's Serac 600 down sleeping bag as well I'm glad I brought that now because the temperature hasn't half dropped it's freezing yeah so peaceful up here now Cracking view to enjoy. I had a really good sleep last night. Cracking pitch this, probably the best pitch I've ever had to be honest. I woke up last night, went out the tent and I've never seen stars like it. It's definitely the best night sky I've ever seen. It was so clear last night. Yeah, so I'm going to pack up now. Make my way back down. Not sure you can make out the, the path down there. A small footbridge, and then there's a path that takes me back past Abba Falls again, and then back down through the valley. Should be a nice little walk, nice start to the day. Beautiful spot, this. 
some cracking bivvy spots as well. I mean, you could just bring your bivvy bag up here. You get two or three people here in the spec here in bivvy bags. So I think I will return for the bivvy camp one day. And so you've got your fresh supply of water here. Another cracking view as well. That's me all packed up. Bag's filthy. I have to give that a good clean when I get in. Leave no trace as always. That's where I was camped last night. Right at the top of this waterfall. Back at the larger waterfall, Abba Falls. I mean, this camera doesn't do it justice, really. This is something that you've got to see to really appreciate it. 